Hey guys, how's it going? It is Mr. Crayfish and welcome back today. I've got something truly exciting to show you guys and this is a brand new crafting system and essentially what this allows you to do is actually craft impossible items and what I'm, what I'm going to be showing you guys today is how you can actually craft mini blocks using this brand new system. Now hear me out, this is using no mods at all. It's also using no resource packs. So if you guys are going in the comments like, he's got mods installed. No, I do have mods installed, but they don't contribute to this. This is just purely command blocks. Now I'm not gonna waste any time here. Let's go ahead and let's check out this brand new crafting system. I've built it over in my garage here and you'll be able to see the resemblance. You'll be able to see the resemblance. It kind of looks like the normal crafting that you would have in a workbench here. So if we brought that out, or crafting table, we've got the uh, three, by three, 3 by 3 slots here. So we've got the 3 by 3 slots and then we've got the result item here. So we essentially do the same, but the thing with this system is we can actually add recipes to it in vanilla Minecraft, which is the awesome thing about this. So I'm going to be showing you guys a couple of recipes here which allow you to actually craft small, well, mini blocks, I mean. So what I'm going to do is show you some recipes I've created for this cr custom crafting system which allow you to actually get mini blocks in the game. Now before we go on, one thing I really like about this is it actually works in survival mode and it is actually, it's not overpowered. You actually have to use your materials for this. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to craft a couple of things here. So the first thing is we're going to craft a mini chest and this is mainly, all these kind of mini blocks are mainly just for decoration. So what we're going to do is put a chest in this middle slot here. We're then going to go ahead and press this button. So this is the button to say, go ahead, craft whatever's in this uh, um, 3x3 array here. Press that button and have a look at that. It's consumed the chest over here and it's given us this mini chest. So let's grab that out. Uh, I think I have to, yeah, because I'm in creative mode. Um, I can't just pick it out like that. But we've got a mini chest on us right now. We can go ahead and we can actually place this down. Have a look at this. This is no mods at all. I'm, I'm saying this right now. This is no mods. This is simply just a player head which has a custom um, tag on it which gives it a custom texture. I'm not entirely sure how it works, but as you can see, we've got a little mini chest here. Now, that's only one of them. Let's go ahead. Let's craft some different, different ones here. Now, um, there's a really cool one I like which is not actually a, um, a block in the game at all. Uh, that previous one was a chest, which it is. But have a look at this. We're going to make a computer. We are going to make a computer here. So we're going to put andesite blocks on the outside there. We're going to give it a screen and then the uh, logic board or the redstone. Press that and have a look at this. We have a computer. Oh my god. Let's grab that out. Uh, we have to do that. Now, if you guys are enjoying this video so far, make sure you go ahead and snap that like button. We need it snapped right in half. If you want to keep up to date with all my latest creations, make sure you go, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. I suggest you press that post notification button so you definitely don't miss out on any of my latest uploads. But let's go ahead. Let's get back into this now. And we can place this down. Have a look at this. This has an actual screen on it. <laughs> it's like a little terminal. Um, it's even kind of got that little shape of a computer, but how cool is that? How cool is this new system? So this can pretty much be configured to create sort of any recipe you want. It doesn't have to be these kind of mini blocks. However, that is kind of the main focus of this video here. Now, there's a couple of other ones I do when I show off. Some that are kind of a little bit out there. So three of those red ones, three of the black, and then three of the white. So we're going to put black, oh no, hold up, wrong way, red at the top here, black along the middle, and then white at the bottom. Now what do you guys think this is going to be? You might not even expect it. <laughs> we got a Pokeball! We got a Pokeball, guys! So we can actually catch, oh we know we can't really, but I wish we could catch young Greg here. Oh god. It didn't work! Maybe I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> But you can get a Pokeball, you can also place down that Pokeball. I thought that's really cool. I'm not gonna lie, that is cool. Imagine having that around your house as like some sort of 
decoration. That would be awesome. Now, there is a couple other blocks here. So we're going to check out this chest, which uh, has all the ones I've kind of configured um, for this actually crafting system here. So there's also a chimney. we got a chest, a mini diamond ore block, a computer, which we've already seen. We've seen the chest as well. We can do an apple. We can do a red present, we can do a grass block, and again, the Pokeball there. I want to do the chimney because this is actually kind of a different crafting recipe. So we need four bricks, and then we're going to go ahead, grab out three iron here. Put the three iron at the top. Let's just fix that up, that's kind of annoying me. And then we put two bricks here, two bricks there, and then we go ahead, press this button, now have a look at that, we've got a chimney. Now this is one is actually really awesome because it actually looks like you could build some sort of pizza oven with this thing. So let's go ahead, let's quickly build something here. I'm trying to build something that looks half decent, hold up. Let's just do it more in the ground here. So this is our uh, really awesome pizza oven here. But then you can put this at the top of it. And it looks like an actual chimney. I really love this decoration. I think this one uh, fits really well into it. Just have a look at that. That is really cool. I'm not going to lie. Then we can also get... Uh, this is, they got, have they got the stairs? Yes, they do. We can do like that. Oh, man. That, that is a 10 out of 10 pizza oven. What do you guys think? Rate it. Rate out of 10. What do you think about my pizza oven? <laughs> Even though it's in the middle of the road. It's in the middle of the road. Oh, young Greg can think about his pizza. Isn't that right? Yes, I am correct. Uh, but we've also got a couple of other ones here. Uh, the little grass block, I think that looks really cool. <laughs> kind of looks a bit like the alpha um, block. Um, little diamond ore here, and there's also an apple and a present. So all these are actually craftable on the system here. I'll show you real quickly how you get the uh, apple and the diamond ore. Um, really simple. It kind of just turns it into its little kind of block form. And we'll also get out some diamond ore here. So you pop these in the middle. Uh, now you do actually have to remove the item here before you can actually craft a new one. That's just a bit of a safety thing so you don't override that by accident. So there we go, we got a little diamond ore block. Place that, oh we've already placed it down. Do the same for the apple there, we can craft that into a uh, little block here and place that around a house. We might put one in our kitchen because this is cool. This will actually stay here regardless if we remove any of the mods in the game or all the mods actually. Every single mod. We can even remove Optifine and Forge and it will still be here. That's how cool this new system is. But that, my friends, is going to end off this video today. Hopefully you enjoyed. Let me know what you thought about this creation. I think that this is probably one of the most awesome things I have created because it allows you to actually craft uncraftable items plus it also works very well in survival um, I could actually see myself using this because it's not a system that is overpowered it doesn't give you like um, cheats it really just gives you our items that you never really were able to access before it's mainly decorative blocks which doesn't give any advantage advantage in the game but that's it I will see you guys later Bye. I was with you. Tried to do, try, tried to do reverse there, but it didn't work out. Sad face.